Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome to this new video ladies and gentlemen in this video i am going to analyze uh, the game theory and uh, try to answer the question why do firms in in oligopoly market structure cannot maximize their uh, individual profits so watch this uh, video uh, up to then so that you could understand the concept uh, i'll take the case of uh, pepsico and uh, coca cola which are the two giant firms in the beverage industry uh, they operate in over 200 countries worldwide uh, coca cola and uh, pepsico were pepsico were discovered in 1886 and 1965 respectively uh, for the first time in many years pepsico exceeded coca cola's market share in uh, 2005 uh, Coca-Cola reclaimed the soft drink market's dominant position back in uh, 2009. So, in a way, uh, these two giant uh, beverage firms are uh, constantly competing with each other, uh, but they are not uh, maximizing uh, their profits as uh, suggested by the market situation. So, I am applying game theory to analyze uh, their situation. Uh, these two top positions oscillate between the two companies although coca-cola is battling to maintain its lead over uh, pepsico uh, this is because coca-cola has a single revenue stream whereas pepsico has uh, several uh, revenue streams uh, the given case is about the competition of the two globally renowned uh, leaders of the cola product manufacturers and uh, marketers that is coca-cola and um, pepsico uh, we analyze this case assuming uh, oligopolistic uh, market structure in which there are only two firms so uh, we may think of uh, uh, duopoly situation uh, oligopoly is uh, a market structure with only a few sellers occupying the majority of the market share and uh, offering a similar or uh, identical or uh, differentiated product the market of soft drink is uh, a good example in which major players are uh, pepsico and uh, coca cola considering the above example let us explain why markets with few companies cannot maximize profits and in this case we have two companies or two firms uh, consider the below payoff matrix of the two firms in which uh, we have some numbers for each firm taking a particular decision uh, here is the uh, payoff matrix of the two companies uh, coca cola is uh, here and uh, pepsico is here uh, and the payoffs uh, in this uh, box in each entry of this box are uh, for pepsi and coke, coke which means that the payoff for coke to advertise when pepsi does not advertise is uh, 13 so it means uh, this is the payoff for uh, coca cola when pepsico does not uh, advertise so in this case the payoff for uh, coca cola is uh, 13 that may be in million dollars or anything uh, but we call it a payoff and uh, now i will explain this payoff uh, matrix if pepsi does not advertise as i mentioned earlier Coke is better off advertising because 13 is greater than 8 and if Pepsi advertises Coke is again better off advertising 5 is greater than 2. So in both cases for Coke the dominant strategy is to advertise whether or not PepsiCo advertise or not. Uh, this means that no matter what Pepsi PepsiCo does Coke is better off advertising so it will advertise so that is the dominant strategy so the strategy in which no matter what other player is doing you do only one thing is called a strictly dominant strategy so in this case for uh, coke advertising is the do strictly dominant strategy and uh, it implies that a particular strategy dominates every other strategy in the game and uh, you will choose that 
The same thing is also true with the Pepsi. If Coke doesn't advertise, Pepsi is better off advertising again. Uh, its payoff is 13 and that is greater than 8. And if Coke advertises, Pepsi is again better off advertising. In this case, the payoff is 5 which is greater than 2. And this means that no matter what Coke is doing, Pepsi is uh, better off advertising so it will advertise. So if both the firms will advertise, the equilibrium outcome of this game is 5-5. Five, five. Both of them will earn 5 million dollars or it's just a payoff which is equal to 5. And this is known as uh, Nash equilibrium. A Nash equilibrium is a situation in which players that is Coke and Pepsi will each choose their best strategy given the strategy all other players have chosen. So for both of them the best strategy or the dominant strategy is to uh, advertise. This outcome in, the, in, the, in that situation is called a Nash equilibrium. The profit maximizing condition is when they both don't advertise and in that case the payoff for each of the firm is 8 and 8. So a, each, uh, each of the firm will gain 8 million dollars in revenue. So this is the profit maximizing condition because jointly uh, the payoff are equal to um, 16. So they would meet and they may make a verbal contract of not advertising. In this way, they can gain 50-50 market share and uh, dominate the market. But the key feature of the oligopoly structure is the tension between cooperation and self-interest, self uh, which we can study by applying the game theory. Verbal contracts are easy to break as trust. Here, both the firms have an incentive to cheat is they think that if they advertise, they will gain 13 million dollars and are better off uh, which is clearly not the case. If they both advertise, they will land on the outcome uh, in which case they would be worse off as 8 is greater than uh, 5. So this particular game is called the uh, prisoner dilemma which says that uh, two rational people won't cooperate even if it is good for their self-interest. Uh, they won't cooperate because they have a strong incentive to cheat. So they land on the outcome which is worse off for both of them. So why do companies in an oligopoly cannot maximize their individual profits? Because they won't cooperate and hence they cannot maximize their profits. Each firm is tempted to raise its production and capture a larger share of the market. Uh, as each of them tries to do so, total production increases but price decreases, hence individual profits decrease. In this case, most of the loss in revenue would be from money spent uh, in advertising. So this is the reason why contracts are forced uh, onto the firms and then the market works. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was a uh, a brief uh, introduction and interpretation of uh, a game of a game theory application to Coke and Pepsi uh, competition uh, phenomena. Uh, although uh, the profit maximizing outcome is possible, uh, but they are not capable of doing that because uh, they may cheat on each other, and uh, that is why. Uh, they are not maximizing uh, their uh, profits and uh, they are uh, the prisoners they are they, they are subject to the prisoners dilemma uh, kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you could uh, get a notification about my videos that uh, i'll upload uh, thanks for watching this uh, video uh, share its various videos in various uh, whatsapp groups with your friends with your colleagues with your students so that they could also take advantage of uh, 